Now, let me discuss the other group of drugs. They are called as immunostimulants. Now, if you see this immunostimulants, the examples what we have is levamizole. Now, if you take this levamizole, this particular levamizole, it is used along with 5-fluorouracil. And it is used along with 5-fluorouracil for the treatment of colorectal carcinoma after surgery. Right? This is used along with 5-fluorouracil for the treatment of right for the treatment of the colorectal carcinoma right for the treatment of colorectal carcinoma after surgery now if you take the major adverse effect of this particular levamizole remember the major adverse effect of levamizole is agranulocytosis right the major adverse effect is the agranulocytosis and remember this particular levamizole is also used for the treatment of pediculosis. Remember, it is also used in the treatment of pediculosis. Now, a point you should remember is, apart from being used in case of colorectal carcinoma and pediculosis, it was also used as an anti-helminthic drug. How it is being used as an anti-helminthic drug is via stimulation of ganglionic nicotinic receptors. Right? So, also used in are also used as right also used as the anti helminthic drug right via stimulation of ganglionic nicotinic receptors right via stimulation of ganglionic nicotinic receptors so this is about your levamizole next another immunostimulant what we have is the bcg so BCG, it is nothing but your Bacillus calmet green, right? It is a viable stain of the Mycobacterium bovis. So Bacillus, right? Bacillus calmet green. Remember, this is a viable stain of, right? It is a viable stain of the Mycobacterium bovis. Now, where is this BCG used is, remember, it is useful as intravesical therapy for superficial bladder cancer right you it is useful as intravesical therapy in superficial bladder cancer right superficial bladder cancer so this is about your bcg next you see the other group of drugs that is cytokines now if you take this cytokines remember the important cytokines, these include the interferons, colony stimulating factors and various interleukins, right? The cytokines, these include the interferons, they include the colony stimulating factors and various interleukins, right? These are your cytokines. Now, we have recombinant form of interleukin 2 and recombinant form of interleukin 2 is nothing but your aldesleukin. And where is this particular recombinant form of interleukin 2 is used? This is used or useful in malignant melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. Right? So, recombinant form of interleukin 2, this is nothing but your aldesleukin. Remember, this particular aldesleukin. So recombinant form of interleukin 2 is aldesleukin and this is used in case of malignant melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. Right, used in case of renal cell carcinoma and as well as, right, as well as in the treatment of malignant melanoma. Next, we have another important cytokine which is nothing but filgrastim. So filgrastim and as well as sargramastim. These are useful in case of chemotherapy induced myelosuppression. So, we have the other important drugs that is filgrastim and as well as the other important drug sargramastim. Right, the other important drug that is sargramastim. So, filgrastim it is a recombinant GCSF that is granulocyte colony stimulating factor and then we have sargramastim it is recombinant 
right recombinant gmcsf so if you take gmcsf that stands for granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor now where is this filgrastim and as well as sargromastim used remember these two drugs that is filgrastim and as well as sargromastim they are useful for chemotherapy induced myelosuppression right useful in case of chemotherapy induced myelosuppression so that is the use of these drugs that is filgrastim and as well as sargramostim so let me shortly revise the immunostimulants here we have the drug that is called livamizole livamizole remember it is used along with 5 fluorouracil for the treatment of colorectal carcinoma after surgery and the major adverse effect of this livamizole is agranulocytosis and it is also used for the treatment of the pediculosis and remember it was also used as an anti-helminthic drug via stimulation of ganglionic nicotinic receptors and we have bacillus calmate green it is a viable stain of mycobacterium bovis and is useful as the intravesical therapy of superficial bladder cancer and we have the drugs that is cytokines these include interferons colony stimulating factors and various interleukins and remember the recombinant form of interleukin 2 it is nothing but your aldous leukin and it is useful in the treatment of malignant melanoma and as well as the renal cell carcinoma next now we have two drugs that is filgrastim and as well as sargramastim filgrastim it is a recombinant gcsf and sargramastim it is a recombinant gmcsf they are useful for chemotherapy induced myelosuppression now let me discuss the other immunostimulants that is Imiquimod. Now, if you take this Imiquimod, right, if you take this Imiquimod, remember it is an immune response modifier shown to be effective against external genital and perianal warts, right. So, it is an immune response modifier, right, and where is this used? It is shown to be effective against external genital and perianal warts, right? External genital and as well as the perianal warts. And this particular perianal warts, that is condyloma acuminator, right? Condyloma acuminator. And the route of administration is the topical route, right? Route of administration is the topical route. Now, how does it act? Remember this particular imiqui mode, it acts by releasing interferon alpha and it also acts by releasing cytokines like interleukin 1, interleukin 6 and TNF alpha. So it acts by releasing TNF alpha and it also acts by releasing the cytokines right and this particular cytokines they include interleukin 1 interleukin 6 and as well as the tnf alpha next now remember this imiqui mode it has also been approved for malignancies of the skin that is basal cell carcinoma and as well as actinic keratosis of the face and as well as the scalp right so this is also been approved for the treatment of basal cell carcinoma and as well as actinic keratosis of face and as well as scalp. So this is about your imiqui mode. Remember imiqui mode it is an immune response modifier. It is shown to be effective against the external genital and perianal warts that is nothing but condyloma acuminator. The route of administration is topical route of administration. This particular drug, it acts by releasing interferon alpha and cytokines like interleukin 1, interleukin 6 and TNF alpha. And it is also been approved for basal cell carcinoma and actinic keratosis.